Hello, poetry lovers. My name is Stuart Henderson, and I have three poems in Fireburn, Cauldron Bubble. Poems chosen by the wonderful Paul Cookson, with brilliant illustrations by the exceptional Eileen Muldoon. I'm going to read one of those poems now, and it's called Somewhere in the Library. Somewhere in the Library. There are fierce and friendly beasts, dragons, cowardly lions, enjoying midnight feasts. Somewhere in the library there are whirlpools and lagoons, coves and crags and picnics with pop and macaroons. Somewhere in the library there are smugglers' hidden caves and voyages and shipwrecks where adventures come in waves. Somewhere in the library there looms a gruffalo and twits and gangster grannies and a wardrobe full of snow where the white witch turns the pages, her icy fingers vexed, as Voldemort is reading what happens to him next. Yeah. Somewhere in the library, down a whizzing country road, an amphibian with driving gloves, the hapless Mr Toad. There's a stick and railway children, all present and correct, whilst underneath the floorboards the borrowers collect. But somewhere in the library there is someone very wise. Her title is Librarian, which is really a disguise. For she's a gatherer of magic and a confidant of elves, whose legends she has catalogued and filed on ship-shape shelves. And she knows a thousand sagas and ten thousand thousand tales she's heard the yarns of hobbits and the ocean dreams of whales so let me share her mystery a secret so sublime her special prayer that starts each day goes once upon a time. Somewhere in the library. How that poem came to be written, in fact, was it was written as a present for a wonderful, wonderful lady called Vivian Thomas, who spent some 30 years as a community librarian in the west of England and also in Wales. And I was invited down to her retirement party. And I thought, what can I do as a present? So I wrote a that poem in honour of her and all librarians who serve in schools and in the community. Now, what I'd like to do next is just to set up a little magic challenge for you out of that poem. And I've written some notes. What I'd love you to do is to perhaps consider composing a list poem of your favourite books and also characters from those books and you could write about what they mean to you and and how that how they strike you as characters so if you make a list and then perhaps you could have a go possibly at trying to get it to rhyme now bearing in mind rhyme looks easy but it's very very tricky but do have a go and I wish you all good fortune with that and more of the same for your next magic challenge.